morning goal that we have been covering uh, the santosha sutra happiness uh, sutra in a tree the xylem which is at the center core of the tree which is like a capillary takes the water from the root to the top even if the tree is 30 meters tall it carries the xylem carries the water the phloem surrounding the xylem takes the nutrients down up to each and every part of the uh, uh, tree each and every leaf of the tree the phloem carries in our body also when you eat the food is converted into energy but the proper distribution of the food happens when you are happy santosha is there proper distribution of the food happens and um, the santosha santosha uh, it's a happiness happiness is the hallmark of a the healthy person i may be taking some medication whether you are healthy or not the best measure is how healthy you are the happiness happiness dawns in you when there is a um, uh, achievement when you uh, acquire the the qualities in life when you are uh, in fulfillment of the life when it happens happiness comes the fulfillment of the life when we'll get the fulfillment in mahabharata bhima sena talks about the fulfillment in the life comes there in three ways one is uh, he talks this one in front of the teachers also dronacharya bhishma acharya in front of the erudite scholars he is uh, 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 the guiding the audience he is giving a message for us one is through jnana acquire the jnana through acquire the proper uh, the knowledge through knowledge you get happiness in your life without they say ignorance is bliss ignorance is not bliss real bliss happens when you have knowledge as you acquire knowledge your happiness goes up the second part is knowledge it should not stay with you it's only in, it should not be end up only as a for quotation it is not a quote for quotation purpose it has to be translated into karma karma yoga the knowledge jnana yoga has to be converted into karma yoga if you are not translating into karma yoga whatever you are acquired it is like pouring water on the rock it has to be translated into action that is karma yoga the the your best in you must come out the knowledge is there that you have to do marvelous accomplishments in your life if you are not doing marvelous achievements in your life only you are uh, satisfied with your comforts you have wasted your life the knowledge you have to acquire and you have to translate that one into marvelous accomplishments in your life and marvelous accomplishment the third one bhima sena talks about putra you need to pass on whatever you have acquired you have to pass on the baton to the next generation inspire the next generation to excel if you are not passing on whatever you have acquired to the next generation the knowledge whatever you acquired the whatever marvelous accomplishment you have done if you haven't inspired others to follow your path then something has gone wrong whatever you have done you are you must inspire others to excel in your life the three ways the santosha dawns in through jnana the fulfillment of the life comes through the jnana through karma yoga through the putra putra means need not be a son alone or daughter alone you have to inspire others to follow your footsteps what a marvelous life and the inspire others to uh, the follow your footsteps 
ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಇನ್ ಮ ಮಹಾಭಾರತ ಇನ್ ಭಗವದ್ಗೀತಾ ಶ್ರೀ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಟಾ ಟಾಕ್ಸ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ಒನ್ ದ ಹ್ಯಾಪಿನೆಸ್ ಕಮ್ಸ್ ವೆನ್ ಯು ದ ಇನ್ ಮೆಡಿಕಲ್ ಸೈನ್ಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಇಟ್ ಟಾಕ್ಸ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ವೆನ್ ದ ಹ್ಯಾಪಿನೆಸ್ ಈಸ್ ದೇರ್ ಹ್ಯಾಪಿನೆಸ್ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ಹ್ಯಾಪಿ ವಿತ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಹ್ಯಾಪಿ ಹಾರ್ಮೋನ್ಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಆಸ್ ಡೋಲಪೈನ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಅ ಪ್ರೊಡ್ಯೂಸ್ ಟ್ರಿಗರ್ಡ್ the produce the production of the happy hormones in the body is triggered when you are happy it's a, it is more more is produced do the, through jnana karma and um, the putra you produce the dolopin it's a happy hormones you produce in, in the body that itself is a healer healer within and the bhagavad gita shri krishna is talking about um, the happiness comes the you have to realize the most important person is you in this world and things outside things are not the source of happiness or joy or sorrow happiness or sorrow outside if outside things are the only outside things are responsible for my happiness for example the sweets if i eat sweets it may not agree with everyone the chillies if you eat it may not agree with everyone if the happiness or sorrow is there in the outside things it should bring happiness to everyone it is not the case some people like this one it gives the happiness to me for others it may not give me the happiness happiness or sorrow it is not in the outer things it is somewhere within now when it is it within i should realize within me this soul is permanent the outside things whatever is there they have they come and go they they come and go outer things today it is giving me happiness yesterday also we touched upon outer things i think it is giving a happiness the whatever it gave me happiness tomorrow it is giving me the sadness i am not getting the same thrill out of that one and the outside things i should remember the most important thing is this one outer things come and go when i realize that one i get the happiness on the other token why i am going to depression anxiety mood i think this one is temporary outside things are permanent whatever happened i think that is permanent i am lost in my life i go into depression it is saying that outer things however whatever is the situation brilliant thing or bad situation think that this is permanent whatever outside things are there for me they are not permanent they is like a passing cloud come and go uh, they is you always think i am the permanent i am there for me whatever bad patch is there it will pass away whatever good also is there not to get too excited about that one remember this is the permanent permanent thing um, uh, in bhagavad gita shri krishna talks about uh, um, uh, uh, yastva atmarati in that uh, 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 matras parshastu kaunteya shitoshna sukha dukkada aham agama paino nityam tam sitikshvastva bharata that outside things come and go do not get hung up on on that one and endure endure uh, endure tham sthitik shvastva endure the change whatever change is happening always think that this one is permanent and um, uh, uh, further shri krishna is uh, talking about in bhagavad gita bhagavad gita um, he, uh, uh, the outside uh, when i am so happy uh, whatever i do it is an expression of joy we think only if i do that job i will be happy in my life when you are so happy when you are connected within whatever you do in your life it becomes an expression of joy 
expression of joy it should manifest through you yastva atmarati reva syadhyatma triptascha manavah atmanyeva cha santushta tasya karyana vidyate yastva one who is reveling within whatever he does he or she does it's an expression of joy and a particular action is not responsible for that person's happiness if i do only ceo job i'll be happy if i do only that job i'll be happy and whatever the whatever action i am doing it is not a source of happiness i have discovered the happiness within you have to discover the happiness within connect within uh, tha in the outside things uh, shri krishna says outside things are not responsible for um, happiness kam gatayati hanti kam in the bhagavad gita shri krishna says how can you say that person is bringing me happiness that person uh, is bringing me sadness the when the the outside things cannot bring me happiness in my life outside the people cannot bring me ha- sadness also i should realize i blame others for my sadness sadness in my life when outer things cannot give me happiness in my life same thing applies same rule applies outside beings i should realize nobody is responsible for my happiness or sadness nobody is responsible no product is responsible for my happiness or sadness the, the i am so the fountain of joy is fountain of joy is within within that one i am connected within atmarati reva revel within when i am reveling within and whatever i do that is a expression of joy in the mahabharata uh, narada once asked the question to lord shri krishna what is uh, death and uh, what is moksha and the lord shri krishna responds the death is the one if one is uh, dying with a lot of selfish motives that is called as death one dies with so, so much of personality i have to do that one i have to do that one i have to get more shares i have to get more property and only selfish motive one if he, that person dies that is called as death and the moksha is the one if any person is living with the through the selfless action doing the action as an expression of joy that is the moksha that person has discovered while living itself while living itself that person discovered the moksha it's uh, doing the selfless action and every action is an expression of joy it's a moksha shri krishna arjas says not to go into death you go into liberation moksha means liberation freedom that that gives the freedom in your life the santosha and the message from the santosha sutra again and we have to work towards that one connect within and move towards the freedom through selfless action to do the selfless action i should have a deep root i should be deep rooted here lie down on your back